This is the video for the second Christmas in July craft. I'm going to do a shameless plug for a couple of books. I looked at this book, The Homemade Holiday, Craft Your Way Through More Than 40 Festive Projects, which is lovely. I used, they have several, um, I've marked several pages that have ideas for wreaths, like that. That's really cool. It's a winter wreath and very straightforward. Again, more other, other, more, more ideas for wreaths. Today we are going to do a Christmas in July craft with items from the dollar store, various items, various items from the dollar store, plus a bonus unicorn craft. I bought stuff from both the Dollar Tree and Dollar General, and both have good points and bad points, but fairly easy to find a whole variety of stuff. So I was also able to procure a small bamboo wreath. And also in the gift wrap and party aisle, they have Red Star confetti, which comes, I didn't realize I thought it was just big stars, but it's big stars, medium stars, tiny stars, and some bows. So that'll be fun for the wreath. There are also pipe cleaners, but they are called chenille stems. Again, there's like a little craft item section. I also got Dollar General has some very good name brand items. This is Elmer's Metallic Glue and Sharpie. They also had various um, ribbon and pom-pom. Okay, so I have my wreath and I have my wide red ribbon, which is about twice as wide as the other ribbon. And I'm gonna do a loose um, wrapping around part of the wreath. So for this, I'm gonna get a little extra, loop it over so that I can nicely tuck it under. And also I'm gonna try not to glue down the, uh, the little hanger. And I am back at the top. I'm going to trim this down. This is a way to tuck the loose end under. Um, you have to leave a little bit of room and angle it. But then if you see, I'm just bringing that over. And as long as you get the one end kind of under. You can actually do that. Now it's time to start decorating the outside and inside of the wreath. So I have one of the fantastic um, sparkly pipe cleaner. I had a couple of, you know, these little, you know, presents. They look like, you know, presents and I thought they'd just be cute. So I'm going to have already attached one and they have a little loop on the end. I don't know how much you can see, but um, yeah, and it's just, it's going to, Put on one. I'm going to pick this up and put one end towards the back of the wreath. And if you can kind of tuck it under the um, ribbon, that's even better. And then that way you can just tuck it under as much as you need. around the very top. So when you have that, and since I put some presents over here, I thought I would add a couple of the cute little bows that I picked up in the paper wrapping section. And I'm just gonna put them on the side.
I had several pom-poms that were too big. Like this one was too big. So I have a bunch of smaller ones. I know that they have packets of um, ones of different sized pom-poms at um, one of the dollar stores. So, and as I said, we're just gonna glue them with the regular glue. And now we're going to add, I'm going to add the finishing touches to the wreath. I'm going to glue, I purchased some star confetti, which apparently comes in different sizes, which is very cool. So I picked two of the bigger stars and I'm going to glue them on the presents. Down. And then for the bottom, I'm going to put a bow on the bottom. So can, you can kind of see the thing to hang it on up here. So it's going to, I'm going to put it closer down here. So I'm going to trim the back, the ribbons off. And just a pair of scissors, even though this has a wire, it's a really thin wire. So I'm just going to trim, trim it way down so you don't get a lot of extraneous um, ribbons. Let me just flatten that down. Then I have pulled two of the pipe cleaners out, lined them up. And so for this, I'm going to do this. I'm going to wrap the, put them like that, and then I'm going to wrap them around so it's in the back. In this way, all and this way, we have a way to attach it, and all the gold matches. And then this way, I'm going to just wrap. One set around the back. Uh oh, out. But I hope that this works. Okay, and then okay, you can kind of adjust it so it looks like that. And then once everything is dry, you should just be able to tuck these into the back and you are good to go. And this is the finished result. And as you can see, I got the star glued on, both packages and the bow, and it's ready to go.